Hi, I'm Sasha Davis, and I'm the instructor for this course. Well, okay, actually, I'm a cartoon rabbit, but I am voiced by Sasha Davis, who looks, you know, kind of like this. You see, we used to do these classes more live action from places like Area 51 back in 2018, or from Hiroshima in 2019, And, of course, from pandemic bunkers in 2020 and 2021. This year, however, I decided to go full mutant and do some of these video lectures as live action and some as cartoons. So, what is this class about? Well, as the title suggests, it's about understanding apocalyptic disasters. No, really? What is the class actually about? Um, uh, no, really. It's about apocalyptic disasters. You know what I love the most? When big chunks of concrete and fiery wood are falling out of the sky and people are running around trying to get out of the way. Exciting shit. Oh, thank you, George. Uh, that's my favorite part, too. Anyway, our aim is to scientifically understand natural and anthropogenic hazards, but it is also about understanding how human societies deal with disasters, as well as how they try to make meaning from acts of destruction. So in this way, this class is a little bit of a cross between a hazards class and a cultural studies class. We'll spend some time looking at visions of the apocalypse, which means we'll look at culture, society, religion, and the fixations of popular cultures. And then we'll look at different kinds of dynamic Earth processes like earthquakes, tsunamis, pandemics, and space hazards, as well as human-caused problems like nuclear disasters and warfare. So... Our class does not officially start until the end of May. The course schedule says May 30th, but uh, that's Memorial Day, so our first assignments are actually due on Wednesday, June 1. Now, the whole class is run online through Canvas. It does not have any specific meeting times, but instead there are readings, videos, modules, movies, and discussion assignments due at specific times throughout the summer. This course goes over the same amount of material as a regular 15-week semester course, but it's squeezed into six weeks of summer. So basically, we're going to go over every couple days what we would normally go over in a week during the semester. So while this means that you can get four credits in just a few weeks, it also means that we will have, uh, you know, well, excuse me, that you will have a lot to do every day, and that it's very difficult to catch up if you start to fall behind. So... Each couple days during this term, you'll be reading an article, you'll be watching a video lecture like this one, you'll also watch some other videos, we will have some films, and you're going to contribute to online class discussions. Assignments will generally be due on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays between June 1 and July 8th. So it'll it's, uh, likely that this is going to take you a few hours of time each day, so be ready for that. The good news is that the material is all about interesting things going on in the world, so it's really rarely boring. So, what should you do now to get ready? Well, the good news is, is that the first thing is what you're already doing now, which is watching this introductory video. The next thing you should do, however, is get on Canvas and check out the syllabus so you'll have a full idea of what to expect from this class. A few of the early assignments are up there on Canvas now, but I'll put more on uh, as we get closer to the beginning of class. There is no book for this course, but there are readings which will be on Canvas under Files. And the assignments will often include links to videos, movies, and websites that you're going to need to look at. Okay, so that's it for now. Ugh, uh-oh. Yeah, I was afraid that was going to happen. All right, well, before the shockwave from the explosion gets here, please be sure to get on Canvas and look it all over, and I will see you in late May, if we make it until then. Bye-bye.